Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gladwell Kozak. If you're new here, please do feel welcome. Uh, if you're coming in uh, for another view, I am most grateful for every time you stop by and share with me this uh, YouTube journey. On today's video, I am going to share with you uh, my spice organization. I did buy some uh, spice gels from Amazon and I wanted to show you how I did my arrangements. This is part of the final finishes for the kitchen re renovation. We are just about to, uh, we are on the last leg. So uh, as soon as the kitchen is all done and every part of the finishes is done, I will be sharing with you this, uh, the last part of the kitchen renovation. I have done uh, two parts, so if you haven't seen those ones, I would recommend that you do so that you can see how far you've come. And uh, without further ado, join me as I show you how I did my spice arrangements and I hope uh, you'll find inspiration to do your own or even to upgrade uh, whatever you already have into another level. So yeah, let's dive in. Uh, for my spice arrangements, I will be using this uh, bamboo uh, spice rack which I bought from Amazon for about 20 pounds and with it comes uh, a supply of 18 spice jars which are glass and they also do have uh, labels with them. As you can see, this is how the labels uh, look like when they are uh, stuck. That is the final finish. And uh, this is the supply. They come in both English and for those who uh, maybe are German and live maybe in either Germany or maybe are still living in the UK, um, that is the option. Uh, with this spice racking, I will be hanging it. It is meant to be a freestanding rack, but I have decided, or rather my husband decided to actually upgrade it. So I will be showing you the final results. Uh, these other jars, as you can see, those ones I bought them from IKEA and uh, I will be putting an extra shelf uh, to accommodate those spices along with the ones that I will be putting with the jars from Amazon. So yeah, um, if you are like me or even my husband, there is always ways that you can look to be able to upgrade uh, whatever you buy from the shop. Uh, it doesn't have to always remain exactly as you bought it so with this uh, bear in mind you can play around with something that you've bought originally from the shop and just upgrade it so uh, before I use or transfer and decant all the spices that I have in the house obviously it's important to wash the jars uh, I will soak them in hot water and I will put some uh, bicarbonate soda so that uh, you kill whatever germs that may be still present and at the end of the day you are not going to be cleaning them every other time so you want to do it right uh, the first time round
the jars are now uh, washed dried and ready and as you can see I have all sorts of spices in different kinds of uh, spice uh, containers and that's why the main reason why I needed to arrange and organize them so that they will be one neat secondly they will be available and also visually uh, pleasing rather than having all sorts of different uh, jars uh, with different labels because you are buying remember from different uh, mix of uh, spices so it's best to just have a kind of neatness and function and that's why I decided to have uh, my spice uh, organization and arrange them in a way where it'll be authentic um, pleasing to my eye and also easily accessible because now that I will be hanging the spice racking outside uh, rather than inside the drawers especially the spices that I tend to use all the time so it will be far much easier for me um, going forward The spices are now ready, uh, the labels are attached to the leads and uh, even one of the suggestions that my son gave me is because we had two uh, spare labels with paprika so one we did a hot uh, a H in front of the paprika and then N uh, for the normal paprika so that we could differentiate between the hot paprika and just the regular paprika. Uh, remember, you do not have to limit yourself only to buying, like me, a spice, a spice rack which has um, jars and labels because you can always use different uh, ways to organize there is lots of jars that you can buy out there. There is lots of different uh, labels, uh, makers that you can buy out there. So, um, where, whereas the supply may be limited, uh, what I have at the moment is far much more sufficient and e efficient for me because I also have, I also do have um, some spare spice uh, containers which I actually did some arrangements some a couple of weeks ago and I will be showing you uh, at the end of this video so that you will have ideas of even different ways of doing the spice arrangements so as you can see uh, as I said before the original spice uh, rack has changed uh, my husband gave it a little bit of uh, paint at the front just to uh, give it a different look and he also added uh, the shelving at the bottom uh, with two at the back two uh, ends where he will be using to be able to screw the shelving on the 
rack onto the wall so that in that way he is able to it, it's able to stay um, steady and firm or screwed into the wall so yeah as I said before uh, at the beginning of the video you can be able to play with different um, things that you buy out there you can always give them a different kind of upgrade and uh, as we did with this one uh, there is an extra shell uh, on that one so uh, whereas, whereas the swatch gel has 18 spaces we decided not to use the uh, top uh, sh spaces rather to have an extra shelving and also the painting of the spice rock was to also uh, match with the finishes the final finishes that we are aiming for in the kitchen so that everything is actually uh, matching in our kitchen So as you can see the spice rack is already uh, up, my husband screwed it in and uh, as you can see you have that extra shelving at the bottom to put those jars that I bought from IKEA and then I will be adding and putting in those jars that came together with the spice a rock. I am so excited because this little project has actually turned out to be so much fun and it is actually so pleasing to my eye because every time I walk into the kitchen uh, these are the final uh, finishes that we are doing in the kitchen I am loving each and every new uh, addition uh, just like we've done today and uh, yeah as i said uh, i also did a couple of weeks uh, ago i also did some other spice arrangements which are right uh, above this racking and they are tucked away in the shelving which is closed and i am also loving them because they are just right there where I need them and I can see them they are visually pleasing everything is neat and just where I would want it and reachable so yeah just like me you can be able to pull out and do exactly what we did or even better thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one bye